Hello, and welcome back to Nightly Nerds. I'm Tote. I'm Ginger. And we're playing... Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. I've never played this. Specifically the final mix. You're you're definitely going to want to turn it down. It's a very cinematic game. Um, It's very loud. Yeah. And, you know, Larry's going to have to cut the music out for those that are watching because it's copyrighted. It's awesome music, but it's copyrighted. So we're, we're going to... So did, did they redo all the graphics for this or something? Is this an HD? Uh, so the, the gameplay really graphics got lately. upped. The cinematic graphics have already been really well on their own because it was PlayStation 2. Okay, okay. Um, like, is any of this for real? Like, for and, real? and as a not neat little note, the voice of Sora who's talking right there is uh, Haley Joel Osmond. Oh, dang. Who looks weird? Like a little troll man. Now. Yeah. <laughs> you you hear the older one as he gets later and later and later, but this is like still young side Haley Joel. Yeah. Um, He's the one that sees dead people. But yeah, they had they the same... Uh, they had the, the, And each Kingdom Hearts, like each... Uh, each character is like supposed to represent like some sort of like tie between the, the mash between Disney and... Um, Square, uh, and Square Enix. Square Enix, the Final Fantasy stuff. Because the the fun thing about Kingdom Hearts is like Kingdom Hearts would have never existed if the if the Disney head in Japan and the Square Enix head in Japan weren't in the same building and got on the elevator at the same goddamn time. Oh, they hit, they had an idea. Yeah, because for those that don't know, Square Enix is essentially the Disney of Japan. Like they they do a lot of. Uh, mo- like uh, video, uh, video and entertainment production, like animation and stuff. Yeah, like um, for uh, you're a big fan of Full Metal Alchemist, correct? Yeah, it was distributed by Square Enix. Oh, there you go. Um, stuff like that, and oh, she's cute. Yeah, that's that's Kairi, that's Sora, and the other one's Riku. If you if you didn't notice, Sora's outfit is designed after Mickey. Oh yeah, I totally noticed that. Um. But yeah, so this is Yutare Karu. For, for, this is for Larry. I'm sorry for those that can't listen to it. If you want to pull it up on YouTube and listen to it, you know, the... Oh, the music that's playing? Yeah. That and, I'll be cutting out. And she does... She's done every song for each Kingdom Hearts. Oh, that's cool. It, it's a little funny in the in the third, third Kingdom Hearts trailer, which I'm sure is going to be the opening music in Kingdom Hearts I might Hearts be 30. able to get away with turning it down low enough. You might. I'll, I'll, I might upload it and just test it. Um... And if not, it's just one episode. That's yeah, true. I'm just saying. Um, in in the third because tri- we got popped on Kirby, but when I turned down low enough, we don't get popped, and you can still hear the music. Yeah, so I don't know. Good old YouTube algorithm. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, in in the the Kingdom Hearts three trailer, they have Yutari Hikaru doing the song, but it's also uh, featuring Skrillex. Ah. <laughs> and I'm, I haven't blah, actually blah, 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 I haven't blah. exactly watched it yet for those that haven't go check it out and let me know what you think because I'm probably going to watch it later today but Kingdom Hearts 1 is heavily Disney influenced yeah well so, that's the uh, whole point right I mean it's a big mashup but it's like it's very heavy it's, on the, it's on the heavier on the Disney side yes like there's a whole thing with the princesses and stuff like that oh yeah that was Snow White right there oh yeah did you uh, did you see the new trailer for uh, the F- the Avengers? No, I have not. Oh, you need to watch it. The door is shut. The way is shut. Now step forward. Can you do it? They are coming. All right, so this is like tutorial and uh, explanation. So I've I've been on this this kick. So you know Luchi. Yeah. Luchi's a friend of ours. He's got a channel Luchi Dono on go, Twitch. He's go a Twitch go check him out. Give him some love. Yeah, but. Uh, he wants to do a YouTube thing where it's going to be like basically movies and stuff that millennials should watch. Yeah. Not saying that they don't, but there's, you know, there's some people who have that weird like mentality of if it was, if it was made before I was born, I won't watch it. I don't ever, I never understood that. Yeah. But, uh, I'm starting to do that with my nieces and nephews now. I hate the jumping. Like Kingdom Hearts one. I made them put all the devices away and watch back to the future. They're sort of terrible. Yeah. And they loved it. Oh yeah. But they would refuse to watch it. They're like, I don't want to watch this movie. Is it's this the power you seek? Movie. Yes, we back seek. Back to the future. We seek power. Oh, the, the path of the warrior. Yeah. And now we have to sacrifice the mage or the, um, the defender. Oh, okay. Uh, do we want to get rid of defense or magic? Uh, what did we get? I picked warrior just because I know in the long run it, it it'll help me kill. Well, if we have faster. warrior, then we probably want magic. I don't know though. Well, we'd be getting rid of it, so we'd have like a we'd have like a negative to uh magic. 
Like, we, we wouldn't necessarily have as much magic power as well as MP and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. So we might like, want a little more magic. I guess we'll be like a, we'll be a paladin. All right, yeah. So but, we'll anyways, so the other day I was watching, I was watching for my, for my sister and brother-in-law, and I made them watch Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm like, and they're like, we don't want to watch this. And then we watched it. And my niece, the oldest one, she was just like, as it ended, like, asked for just the first one after Boromir dies. And she was like, totally caught him. And she's like, oh, so the ring corrupts them? I'm like, yeah. She's like, so what do they have to do with the ring? Because she like, wasn't paying attention to some of the early yeah. stuff. And so I started explaining more into it. She's like, are there books for this? I'm like, yeah. It all comes from books. She's like, can I read those books? I'm like, yes, yes you can yes, read you these can. books. Yes. And, then and she's like, are there more movies? I'm like, yeah, there's two more movies. And then there's The Hobbit. Which is a which, book. Which that is also a book. It. And it's actually a very sh a short, much shorter book than made into a very long movie for some reason. Or three long movies. But yes, you can watch all that. She totally got into it. I'm like, yeah, finally. I kind of like that. Passing it on something on to, oh, yeah. to, the younger, to the younger generation. All right. Blue is our MP. Green is our HP. Really? Yep. I'm and just joking. <laughs> what is that? These are the bad guys? Those are called Heartless. Ah, oh, the Heartless. I mean, they don't. the game doesn't tell us that for a while, but... Uh, Those are characters from Universal Studios <laughs> and Sony. <laughs> oh, this is PlayStation. Never mind. Uh, Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hate Sony Entertainment. Like, they're that, that side of it. Yeah. The movies and stuff. They have a, they have a hard time making good movies, especially recently. All right, so we need R1 to lock on to enemies. E. 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 <laughs> e. 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 I love how simple, like, the, 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 si the combat system is for Kingdom Hearts 2. It's like, so everything you kill... Um, you keep what you kill? It will pop up an experience point as you kill them. So we got one experience point per kill there. Those green things that are dropped are HP. We can oh. pick them up to heal ourselves so we don't have to cast magic. Cool. Isn't Donald the... Donald's the mage, Goofy's the shield, and that's why I always pick sword for Sora. Okay. Because eventually they do join our party. It's, it's not a big spoiler. They well, join our I've never played it and I know. Yeah, they join our party. Um, and, you know, we, we, never in, we never directly control them. We give them, like, a gambit system to, like... Uh, Tell them how to react to situations. Yeah, like heal whenever I'm in danger. And yes. You defend whenever I'm in danger. Yes. Whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I mean, the big joke is that he doesn't heal you until you die and then he tries to heal you. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. Too late, Donald. That's why I honestly, like, I make Goofy the healer because, like, I'll, I'll buy, like, a boatload of potions and I'll be like, Goofy, use a potion on me when I drop below this percentage. Yeah. Or it's actually not percentage, it's like critical. Um, I can't remember what I was supposed to do with this. Was I supposed to just push it, or do I break it? Can you break it? Break oh. it. And see, there's a potion. And the way is open. And I... Originally, when this came out, I freaking loved it. So it's like... It's a, it's an active combat RPG. Which are fun. So my D-pad controls the menu that would be in like a turn-based RPG. So I pull up my items while I'm running around. Like you do in... <laughs> in uh, Dark... Uh, Dark Souls. And it's a little uh, little harder in Dark Souls. But yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm getting annoyed at my controller, so like it kind of jibs on certain directional inputs. Like it's it's a very functional controller, which like the joystick likes to. It, people might see it in Dark Souls, but like when I'm running forward, it like kind of likes to wiggle side to side, side to side, and then it fixes itself eventually. Like it's like oh, we're not fully registering. Okay, now we're registered. <laughs> <laughs> like a did it, then you go forward. Yeah. I thought you were just trying to juke things like a football player. No. Being like all Barry Sanders. Um, it does like a little like shimmy wiggle thing that kind of bugs me. All right. So, uh, oh, these choices don't seem like a lot, but like in the end game, they affect like your stats massively. Oh, those choices we made. Yeah. So where are we? Is this his like hometown? Uh. So this is this is. Destiny Island, but we're currently like in like a dream state. Uh, and these these are fun little like kid versions of characters from other Final Fantasy games. Uh -huh. So the, these two are from Final Fantasy X. She's from Final Fantasy VIII. Uh -huh. And we gotta talk to them. We're gonna answer questions that they ask. What do you want out of life? To these, see these, rare sights, to broaden my horizons. These are to all be you, by strong. the way. 
to broaden my horizons. That means put on more weight and get fat. <laughs> <laughs> what are you afraid of? Getting old, being different, being indecisive. Being indecisive. Is that really so scary? It can be. Can't make a decision. What's most important to you? Being number one, friendship, or prized possessions? Friendship. With the power of friendship. It is the American it way. It is the American way. You want to broaden your horizons. You're afraid of being indecisive, and you want friendship. Yay. I wouldn't say I'm afraid of being indecisive. Your adventure but begins. I love those things. Getting old sucks, but there's nothing you can do about it. Your so. adventure begins at midday. You, at, uh, midday. Keep a steady pace, and you'll come through fine. Sounds good. Sounds fantastic. The day will open. The day you will open the door is both far off and very near. <gasps> and oh, it's my favorite princess. Oh, mine too. Belle is close second. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, Aurora doesn't have a ton of personality in the original. But no, but it's like the it's the, the whole way designed her. I it's like the it. whole storytelling too. It's like each character was so important. Favorite villain too, Maleficent. Yeah, not the movie Maleficent. But I hate that movie, but the Maleficent from this. Yes, my favorite villain. Basically, tell us we can't open our menu during battle. Oh, not more of these little bastards! All right, so we get our sword. So he's dreaming this. So is, is that what we're implying? He no. So he's. You know, it's not a big spoiler, but he's currently dreaming. Yeah. What I'm saying is it's not giving us a lot to go on, which makes me think it's got to be a dream then, right? Yeah. He doesn't even know what's going on. His dream's just like, you got to press the circle. He's like, what's the circle button? No. Yeah, it's it's, it's a nice way to it, like incorporate tutorial without being forceful about it. And it's not like, it's like, press the circle button. I wasn't, it's not like I couldn't do anything until I pressed the circle button. It's just like, press the circle button. This menu, will, this, this note will stay here until you press the goddamn button. Yeah. <laughs> That, that is a save point, <laughs> like in classic RPGs. Oh, of course, uh, when I say favorite princess, I guess I would say favorite princess in the, in the uh, classical classics. Sense. Yeah, because I think uh, in the newer stuff, it's um, Rapunzel. I, I I can agree with you there because Rapunzel was very well done. Plus, it's Mandy Moore. And Mandy Moore is just horrible. Freaking, freaking. That's so funny. <laughs> Love me some Mandy Moore. All right, so. Oh yeah, so you, you can see it here a little bit when I like um, that the slight jibbing as it tries you know to funny? pick a you know direction. You know what's so funny, Turk? She didn't say that's so sad. She's actually crying. She's actually crying. <laughs> You're an idiot. I know. <laughs> that's a uh, Scrubs reference for those who don't know. Yeah. Mandy Moore was on there, and that's probably the only chick I think he should have gone for uh, over Elliot, just because I love hundred percent. I I love Elliot. Hey, I, speaking of which, there's Belle. And the Beast. Tale as old as time. Song as old as rhyme. Ba, 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 ba. The closer you get to light, ba, ba, the greater your shadow becomes. Ba, 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 ba. Bestiality. Oh. Is it like you? It's like Dark Link? Don't, but don't be afraid. The Black Link. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's got like, it's got those little gesture boots on. Oh. And don't forget. Oh my goodness. To be decisive. Sorry. Don't run. Fight. Never surrender. Fight. Camelot lives. Sorry. That's a movie I love. I think I talked about that already. First night. It's a movie I can just sit down and watch the hell out of. I want the other hand. Didn't we fight a boss that was did something like this? No, I'm thinking of a game I played without you. Um, I played... Um, what the frick is that game? It's like the arcade version of Dark Souls. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about, right? Where you're, where you're the fourth horseman? What yes. What is that game called? Uh, uh, the Darksiders. Darksiders, yes. Thank you. Yeah, it's a death, there's a boss war, totally and now there's, like this. now there's cur currently fury. Because there's a chick, right? Yeah. It's a female version of the horseman? Uh, Darksiders 3 actually looks really awesome. I enjoyed the one I played. I played the one that uh, I have it. On, I got it for free on Amazon Prime. So I got it for free on uh, PS Plus. I think I got. I don't have two. I have one. I think mine was two. It um, was fun. I enjoyed it. It was a little short on story, and your choices were kind of pre-made for you. Yeah, we beat him. All right. There was only so much you could do like in your attacks, but I enjoyed the hell out of it. Oh, same here. Well, it took me a couple days to beat. 
Oh yeah, they're very short games. They don't have a lot of uh, uh, substance to them. The only thing about it was, was kind of like the replayability wasn't there. So once I beat it, I just haven't touched it. But don't be afraid. That was what we were supposed to hear. Ah. But remember, don't be afraid. But remember one thing. You hold the mightiest weapon of all. In space, no one can hear you scream. That was from Aliens, I think? Yeah. The alien tag. So don't forget. I think the one from, um, was it Anaconda? Yeah. If you can't breathe, then you can't scream. You're like, oh, yeah. no. Remember, you're the one who will open the door. <laughs> Remember one thing. This is your fault. And, oh, I can't pause it. Oh, there we go. You can't pause it. That'll, That'll end this episode. Yay. Okay, everybody. As ever, always, as all, as, as, as always, I'm Tote, and I'm Ginger. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hey, did you like that video? Well, if you did, click the box on the right for another. Click the box on the left for a playlist. Of course, you could always just subscribe by clicking the link in the middle. Come find us on social media. There are links in the description below. Don't be afraid to leave us a comment. Thanks for watching. I'm Tote. I'm Ginger. See you then. Bye.